A three hinged frame is a frame supported on three hinges, one internal and two external. Although a frame supported this way seems to be statically indeterminate, the internal hitch provides one extra degree of freedom, as it cannot receive any bending moments. Therefore, the frame is statically determinate and the internal moment diagram at that point is equal to zero. The frame's length is 4 meters and its height 3, and has a horizontal load acting on node C with a magnitude of 10 kN, a vertical distributed load with a magnitude of 2 kN per meter is also acting between nodes C and D. Let's start the analysis. On node A, we have a pin support and we expect to find an horizontal and a vertical reaction. On node B, we have a pin support and we expect to find an horizontal and a vertical reaction. In order to ease the calculations, it is suggested that we replace the distributed load with a concentrated one. The new load will be named capital Q and will be assigned on the distributed load center of mass, which is node G. Its value will be equal to the distributed load's value times its length. Therefore, Q is equal to Q times L, which is equal to 2 times 4. Therefore, Q is equal to 8 kN. The sum of the horizontal forces must be equal to 0. Therefore, AX plus BX plus P is equal to 0. When we substitute, we find that AX plus BX is equal to minus 10 kN, and this is our first equation. The sum of the moments in respect to the pivot point A must be equal to 0. The forces AX, AY, and BX do not provide moments as their vectors pass through the pivot point. Nevertheless, the BX force provides a bending moment, positive, as its direction is the same as our assumption, and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its perpendicular distance from the pivot point A, which is 4 meters. The concentrated load Q provides a negative moment as its direction opposes our assumption, and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its perpendicular distance from A, which is 2 meters. The concentrated load P provides a negative moment as its direction opposes our assumption and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its perpendicular distance from A, which is 3 meters. Therefore, by solving for 4 times B, Y, we find that it is equal to A times 2 plus 10 times 3. Therefore, B, Y is equal to 11.5 kN, and this is our second equation. The sum of the moments in respect to the pivot point B must be equal to zero. The forces BX, BY, and AX do not provide moments as their vectors pass through the pivot point. Nevertheless, the AX force provides a bending moment, negative, as its direction opposes our assumption, and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its perpendicular distance from the pivot point B, which is 4 meters. The P force provides a negative moment as its direction opposes our assumption, and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its perpendicular distance from B, which is 3 meters. The concentrated load Q provides a positive moment as its direction is the same as our assumption, and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its perpendicular distance from B, which is 2 meters. Therefore, by solving for AY, we find that it is equal to minus 3 times 10 plus 8 times 2. Therefore, AY is equal to minus 3.5 kN, and this is our third equation. The next equation will be found by cutting through the G hinge and looking left. As before, it is suggested that we replace the distributed load with a concentrated one. The new load will be made capital Q and will be assigned on the distributed load center of mass, which is located on the middle of the CG span, and its distance from C and G is 1 meter. Its value will be equal to the distributed load's value times its length. Therefore, Q is equal to Q times L, which is equal to 2 times 2. Therefore, Q is equal to 4 kN. We have already established that the moment diagram on node G should be equal to 0. Therefore, the sum of the moments in respect 
to the pivot point Z should be equal to zero. The P force does not provide a moment as its vector passes through the pivot point Z. Nevertheless, the AY force provides a negative moment as its direction opposes our assumption and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its perpendicular distance from the pivot point G, which is 2 meters. The AX force provides a positive moment as its direction is the same as our assumption and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its perpendicular distance from G, which is 3 meters. The concentrated load Q provides a positive moment as its direction is the same as our assumption and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its perpendicular distance from G, which is 1 meter. Therefore, by solving for 3AX, we find that it is equal to minus 3.5 times 2 minus 4. Therefore, AX is equal to minus 3.67 kN and this is our fourth equation. By combining equations 1 and 4, we find that Bx is equal to minus 6.33 kN. To draw the internal forces and moment diagrams, we must cut three times. The first cut will be between nodes A and C, the second between nodes C and D, and the third between nodes D and B. As you see, I have completely ignored the internal hinge and used it only to determine the support reactions. First cut. First, we need to turn the frame in order for the reference line to be beneath it. On no day, there is a vertical force AX and an horizontal AY. The cut is applied on a point that is called K and its distance from A is X, which varies between 0 and 3 meters. On the cut point, we find an internal axial force N of X, an internal shear force V of X, and an internal bending moment M of X. The sum of all the horizontal forces should be equal to 0. Therefore, Ay plus n of x is equal to 0. By solving for n of x, we find that it is equal to minus Ay, therefore it is equal to 3.5 kN constant, with x varying from 0 to 3. The sum of all the vertical forces should be equal to 0, therefore minus Ax minus V of x is equal to 0. Therefore V of x is equal to minus Ax, which is equal to 3.67 kN constant, with x varying from 0 to 3. The sum of the moments in respect to the pivot point k must be equal to 0. The forces Ay, V of x and N of x do not provide moments as their vectors pass through the pivot point k. The internal bending moment is positive and Ax provides a positive moment and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its distance from the pivot point k, which is x. Therefore, m of x is equal to 3.67x, while x varies from 0 to 3. If we assign a value of 0 on x, we find that the bending moment on node a is of course 0. If we assign a value of 3 on x, we find that the bending moment of node c is 3.67 times 3, which is equal to 11 kN meters. Second cut. The cut is applied on a point that is called K and its distance from C is X, which varies between 0 and 4 meters. It is suggested that we replace the distributed load with a concentrated one. The new load will be named capital Q and will be assigned on the distributed load center of mass, which is located on the middle of the CK span and its distance from C and K is X over 2 meters. Its value will be equal to the distributed load's value times its length. Therefore, Q is equal to Q times X, which is equal to 2X. On the cut point, we find an internal axial force, an internal shear force, and an internal bending moment. The sum of all the horizontal forces should be equal to 0. Therefore, N of X plus P plus AX is equal to 0. By solving for N of X, we find that it is equal to minus 10 plus 3.67, therefore it is equal to minus 6.33 kN, constant, with x varying from 0 to 4. The sum of all the vertical forces should be equal to 0, therefore minus V of x plus Ay minus Q is equal to 0. Therefore V of x is equal to Ay minus Q, which is equal to minus 3.5 
minus 2x variant with x varying from 0 to 4. If we assign a value of 0 on x, we find that the shear force on node C is equal to minus 3.5 kN. If we assign a value of 4 on x, we find that the shear force on node D is, is minus 3.5 minus 2 times 4, which is equal to minus 11.5 kN. The sum of the moments in respect to the pivot point K must be equal to 0. The forces P, V of x and N of x do not provide moments as their vectors pass through the pivot point K. Nevertheless, the AY force provides a negative moment, which is equal to the force magnitude times its perpendicular distance from K, which is X. The concentrated Q force provides a positive moment, which is equal to the force magnitude times its perpendicular distance from K, which is X over 2. The internal bending moment is positive. Last but not least, the AX force provides a positive moment, which equals to its magnitude times its perpendicular distance from K, which is 3. By solving for m of x, we find that it is equal to 3 times 3.67 minus 3.5 times x minus 2 times x times x over 2. Finally, we compute that m of x is equal to 11 minus 3.5x minus x squared, with x varying from 0 to 4. If we assign a value of 0 on x, we find that the bending moment on node C is equal to 11 kN. If we assign a value of 4 on x, we find that the bending moment on node D is 11 minus 3.5 times 4 minus 4 squared, which is equal to minus 19 kN. Third cut. First, we need to turn the frame in order for the reference line to be beneath it. On node B, there is a vertical force BX and an horizontal BY. The cut is applied on a point that is called K and its distance from B is X, which varies between 0 and 3 meters. On the cut point, we find an internal axial force, an internal shear force, and an internal bending moment. The sum of all the horizontal forces should be equal to 0. Therefore, minus BY minus N of X is equal to 0. By solving for N of X, we find that it is equal to minus bx, therefore it is equal to minus 11.5 kN constant, with x varying from 0 to 3. The sum of all the vertical forces should be equal to 0, therefore minus v of x plus bx is equal to 0. Therefore v of x is equal to 6.33 kN constant, with x varying from 0 to 3. The sum of the moments in respect to the pivot point K must be equal to zero. The forces B, Y, V of X and N of X do not provide moments as their vectors pass through the pivot point K. Bx provides a positive moment and its magnitude is equal to the force's magnitude times its distance from the pivot point K, which is X. The internal bending moment is negative. Therefore, M of X is equal to minus 6.33X, while X varies from zero to three. If we assign a value of 0 on x, we find that the bending moment on node B is of course 0. If we assign a value of 3 on x, we find that the bending moment on node D is equal to minus 19 kNm. Diagrams For the axial diagram, the internal axial force from A to C is constant and equal to 3.5 kN. From C to D, it is constant and equal to minus 6.33 kN. From B to D, it is constant and equal to minus 11.5 kN. For the shear diagram, the internal shear force from A to C is constant and equal to 3.67 kN. From C to D, it varies and is equal to minus 3.5 minus 2x, a first degree polynomial, which means that it starts at minus 3.5 kN at node C and continues obliquely until it reaches minus 11.5 kN at node D. From B to D, it is constant and equal to 6.33 kN. For the moment diagram, the internal bending moment from A to C varies and is equal to 3.67 times x, a first degree polynomial, which means that it starts at 0 at node A and continues obliquely until it reaches 11 kN at node C. From C to D, it varies and is equal to 11 minus 3.5 times x minus x squared, a second degree polynomial. 
Since the shared diagram is not equal to zero at any point from C to D, the moment diagram does not have a max point. In addition, the diagram must be equal to zero at the internal hinge. According to all of this, the diagram starts at 11 at node C and continues curved, passes through zero at node C and reaches minus 19 kNm at node D. From B to D, it varies and is equal to minus 6.33 times x, a first degree polynomial, which means that it starts at zero at node B and continues obliquely until it reaches minus 19 kNm at node C.